Hi, my name is Claire Ryan. I'm the coordinator of the Midwest Invasive Plant Network and also of the Woody Invasives of the Great Lakes Collaborative. This video is about the invasive tree Amer maple. The Latin name is Acer genala, though you might sometimes see the synonym Acer tetrica subspecies genala. I'll tell you briefly about the species history and its current status in North America, why it's invasive, and then we'll take a look at how to identify it in the field. Amer maple is native to northern and central China and Japan. It's named after the Amer River Valley, which forms part of the eastern border between China and Russia. That area of the world has a very similar climate as the upper Midwest. This species was introduced in the mid-1800s as an ornamental plant, and it remains in trade with a few cultivars. It's grown due to its small adult size, its cold hardiness, and broad adaptability, as well as for its fall color. However, its broad adaptability contributes to invasiveness as well. It occurs outside of cultivation in the northern states from Maine to North Dakota, and also in the provinces of Ontario, Manitoba, and Saskatchewan in Canada. Like all maples, the seeds of Amer maple are spread mostly by wind. Seeds don't travel too far from the parent plant. It tends to establish itself in open and sunny locations, including forest edges, gaps caused by disturbance, open woodlands, old fields, rights of way, and prairies. It can potentially move into more interior habitats over generations. I've seen it grow in a disturbed wetland area even, and it can form dense thickets, displacing and shading out native plants and reducing diversity. Here we see an Amer maple that was planted in this park area that has spread its seed into the restoration prairie behind me. Amer maple has a unique look compared to most other plants and isn't too hard to identify once you know what to look for. So let's look at some of those identification features. Amer maple's mature height is 15 to 18 feet, usually with multiple stems like this tree here. And the crown width is roughly even to its height. Leaves are opposite with a distinct shape. They have three lobes and the side lobes tend to be relatively short compared to the middle lobe, which is long and pointed. The leaves are dark green to reddish green, depending on the cultivar. And then the fall color can be yellow, orange, or red, again, depending on the cultivar. Amber maples flower in the spring as the leaves emerge and the flowers are fragrant. Most maple seeds mature in late spring to midsummer, but Amer maple seeds stay on the plant and mature in the fall. They form in pink tinged clusters, which eventually mature to brown. Like other maples, they have paired samaras, which are sometimes called helicopters or whirligigs, and each side is relatively small, usually an inch or less in length. If you have Amer maple on your property, we recommend that you consider removing it and replacing it with a non-invasive tree or shrub. And this is especially important if your Amer maple is located within a thousand feet or so of a natural area or a naturalized right of way. Amer maple doesn't sucker from the roots, so there are plenty of control options available. Unfortunately, there aren't any similarly sized maples that don't escape from cultivation, but there are several other good choices within the same size class with multiple stems. Some native examples include service berries, American hornbeam, and red buckeye. To learn more about control techniques and alternatives, check out our website, woodyinvasives.org. And please subscribe to our channel for more useful videos like this one.